We have 55 Super Bowls in the books, so that begs the question, which one is best? Did he make the catch? He did! Which is worst? Let's get to it. It's all 55 Super Bowls ranked. It is Super Bowl 48 between the Seahawks and the Denver Broncos. Even though it was billed as an epic clash between MVP Peyton Manning and the legendary Legion of Boom, Super Bowl 48 was a dud. Look, look at it! It was over before it ever got going. It snapped over the head of Peyton Manning. It's a safety. Denver's miscue on the game's first snap set the tone. The Seahawks forced four turnovers, including a pick six, and held the Broncos' record-setting offense to just eight points. <laughs> In Super Bowl VIII, the 73 Dolphins became the second ever back-to-back -back champs. The feat was impressive, but the game was a snoozer. Down 17-0, Minnesota fumbled the game away just before half. Super Bowl MVP Larry Zonka rumbled for 145 yards and two touchdowns, icing the game with a third-quarter score. And the Dolphins established clear superiority in this game. Yet another smackdown led by a domineering defense, the result of Super Bowl XII was never in doubt. The Cowboys' doomsday squad forced eight turnovers, holding the Broncos to just eight pass completions and 156 total yards. Robert Newhouse and Golden Richards connected on a decisive blow in the fourth quarter. Good job. Newhouse goes left, pulls up, wants to pass, fires it deep for Goldie Richards. Caught touchdown! Super Bowl 26 was a clash between the league's two best offenses, but only one showed up. In fact, this game might be best remembered for Thurman Thomas forgetting his helmet on the Bills' first drive. Washington held the 1991 MVP to just 13 rushing yards and picked off Jim Kelly four times. Mark Rippon and company dominated. Scoring the game's first 24 points, Joe Gibbs took home his third Lombardi trophy. Super Bowl 33 was a clinic. In his final game of his career, John Elway and the defending champs put a damper on the Dirty Bird Falcons' Cinderella season. Throws down deep the middle of the field. Rod Smith's got it! Here we go! 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, Rod Smith, Denver touchdown! It was never really a game. Elway passed for 336 yards, riding off into the sunset. We can only wonder how the 98 Vikings might have fared. Super Bowl 24 was all about Joe Montana. The Hall of Famer easily outgunned Elway, posting a then record five touchdown passes on just 29 pass attempts. Split backs, receivers left and right. Montana puts it on the hip, comes back, throws for the end zone. Taylor, touchdown 49ers! The 49ers cruised to their fourth Super Bowl win of the decade. San Francisco broke numerous records in their 55 to 10 shellacking of Denver, still the biggest win margin in Super Bowl history. The 2000 Ravens were arguably the best defense of all time, though the 85 Bears might have something to say about that. While the Red Hot Giants had won their last seven games, they didn't stand a chance in Super Bowl 35. Led by MVP Ray Lewis, who vaulted from a wild card spot into the history books, shutting down the G-Men in a lopsided win. Appearing in their fourth title game in eight years, Fran Tarkenton and the Vikings were completely outmatched in Super Bowl XI. Led by the late great John Madden, Oakland scored the game's first 19 points. The Raiders amassed a then Super Bowl record 429 yards, and 36-year-old Willie Brown put the game away in one of the most iconic Super Bowl images in history. Intercepted by the Oakland Raiders, Willie Brown, he's going all the way! Old man! MVP Cam Newton was the talk of the town entering Super Bowl 50, but the Broncos defense stole the show. In fact, the game was effectively won by a single player. They've gotten to him, the ball is out in the end zone. Vaughn Miller put on a clinic. Rushing four, ball comes out of the hands of Newton. Vaughn Miller did it again. Denver forced three turnovers and sacked Superman six times. The Broncos won 24 to 10 in a game that never lived up to the hype. More than anything, Super Bowl 29 was the Steve Young game. The Niners and Chargers combined for a record 75 points, but the majority of those came via Young's arm. Waters a great over the shoulder catch, bounces away again. Oh, what a bonanza! 51 yard touchdown play. The lefty legend finally broke out of Montana's shadow, pulverizing San Diego with a record six touchdowns. You could argue the real Super Bowl came two weeks prior when the 49ers finally defeated Dallas in the NFC title game. 
Super Bowl 15 was a game of firsts, the first ever appearance by the Eagles, who were bested by Oakland, the first wildcard team to hoist a Lombardi. Unfortunately, this one was over early. Setting up, takes off running to the left, throws on the move, and it's caught by King at the 40. King takes over the 50, he'll go all the way, nobody knows. To the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Raiders! A quick 14-point lead was enough for the Raiders as the defense held steady. Linebacker Rod Martin intercepted Ron Jaworski three times, a Super Bowl record. Don Shula versus Tom Landry in Super Bowl VI was a dream coaching matchup. The game was anything but. Miami kept it close, but a 10-3 contest at halftime turned into a resounding Cowboys win. Dallas rushed for 252 yards and saw Roger Staubach win MVP. The highlight of the day came on a 29-yard sack by Bob Lilly. The NFL's Packers entered Super Bowl II as heavy favorites and they didn't disappoint. The AFL's Raiders were down just nine at the break, but future Hall of Famer Herb Adderley put the game out of reach in the fourth. Herb Adderley picks it up at the 40, 50, down to the 40, the 30, down to the 20, cuts it away from Darrell Lamonic at the five, and goes all the way for a touchdown. Vince Lombardi's team had its second straight Super Bowl win. Super Bowl 55 pitted a skyrocketing superstar against the league's most decorated player, but Kansas City imploded, committing a record eight penalties in the first half. Meanwhile, Tom Brady tossed three scores before intermission. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs failed to score a single touchdown, falling short of back-to-back -back titles. The Bucks became the first team to win a Super Bowl in their home stadium. Another game that fell short of expectations, coincidentally, also played in Tampa Bay. Washington in its top-ranked offense was going for two in a row, but the underdog Raiders stole the spotlight. Jack Squirix picked six before halftime crushed Joe Gibbs' squad, and the route was on. Marcus Allen adding the finishing touches with a scamper for the ages. Giving to Allen, sending him wide left. He has to reverse his field, but he, and he gets away for a moment. Comes back up the middle of 30, 25, 40. Breaks past two men at the 50, down to the 40. Picking up a blocker to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Raiders! From a Raiders triumph to a Raiders disaster, a meeting between the league's top offense and defense, Super Bowl 37 was a Buccaneers onslaught. Rich Gannon was sacked five times and threw a Super Bowl record five interceptions, three of them returned for touchdowns. Gannon looking, Gannon looking, Gannon throws up the middle. Hands in the side, Brooks to the 25, 20. Derek Brooks all the way. Tampa rattled off 34 straight points as their defense alone outscored the Raiders. In Super Bowl 40, Pittsburgh became the first ever six seed to hoist a Lombardi trophy. The game had its share of big plays, but it's remembered more for poor officiating. The Seahawks were right there in the fourth, but the Steelers put the game away in style. Randall L, he can throw. He was a quarterback in college, and he's thrown a touchdown to Heinz Ward in the Super Bowl. About between the legendary Steel Curtain and Purple People Eaters, Super Bowl IX was a slog. The halftime score was 2-0. In the second half, Franco Harris outgained the entire Vikings offense to earn MVP as Pittsburgh's dynasty was born. Super Bowl XXI was a tale of two halves. The Giants posted a Super Bowl record 30 points in the final two quarters, turning a stalemate into a blowout. Sims has the ball. He is going to pass. He does. It is complete. Yes! He hung on to the ball! John Elway was outplayed by Phil Sims, who went 22 for 25 in an MVP performance. At last, the Giants were Super Bowl champs. One of the greatest QB matchups in Super Bowl history failed to meet the moment. Dan Marino and the Dolphins torched the NFL in 1984, but their record-setting season was put to bed by Joe Montana's 49ers. San Francisco jumped out to a 28-10 lead in the second quarter. Montana totaled four touchdowns. Roger Craig scored three of his own. The 49ers were well on their way to a decade of dominance. Looks over the left side, caught by Craig on the way to the end zone, and Craig goes in for the score. Touchdown, 49ers! Came to see an offense and the wrong one showed up. Yes, Super Bowl 27 was a beatdown, but that's not the whole story here. This game was the crowning achievement of Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson's Cowboys turnaround. 
Troy Aikman threw four touchdowns, two to Michael Irvin. To Irvin again, touchdown! Emmett Smith rushed for over 100 yards and a score. The Bills committed a record nine turnovers, losing their third of four straight Super Bowls. Now back to those 85 Bears. In Super Bowl 20, they cemented their place in history, steamrolling the overmatched Patriots. It was total domination, but in a fun way, at least for Bears fans. First and goal from the one yard line, hand off the to the Perry. 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 Yes, William Perry has scored on a one yard touchdown run in the Super Bowl. Chicago racked up seven sacks, allowed just seven rushing yards, and won by a staggering 36 points, all Super Bowl records at the time. The Broncos galloped into Super Bowl 22 looking for redemption, but Washington had other ideas. After Denver got out to an early 10-0 lead, quarter number two was the Doug Williams show. Play action fake, Williams going up top. Got Sanders on the fly at midfield. He's gone, unless they can catch him. The 30, the 20, the 15, touchdown, Washington. Williams to pass, lobs it up. He's got Clark at the goal line. He's got it, touchdown. Faked out everybody. He's got Sanders in the clear at the 10. Touchdown, Washington. Doug Williams is back, lobs it into the end zone. He's got Didier, touchdown. Holy cow, four touchdown passes in a quarter. That's a record. Williams went from backup to Super Bowl MVP. Unknown running back Timmy Smith set a record with 204 rushing yards as Washington scored 42 unanswered points. The Chiefs were huge underdogs in Super Bowl IV, but they blindsided the Vikings, further establishing the AFL. A year after Joe Namath led the Jets to a monumental upset in Super Bowl III, Hank Stram's KC squad proved the upstart league was no joke. 65 toss by our trap. That might pop wide open, right? Play coming to Garrett on a trap. Touchdown! I told you that baby was there. Yes, sir, boys. <laughs> Kansas City scored the first 16 points and forced five turnovers. The Bills and Cowboys became the only two teams to meet in consecutive Super Bowls, squaring off in Super Bowl 28. This time, the Bills led 13-6 at halftime, but Dallas scored 24 unanswered points. The recipe, Emmett, Emmett, and some more Emmett. Breaks a tackle, 10-5, touchdown! Smith won MVP, racking up 132 yards and two scores in Jimmy Johnson's final game with the Cowboys. While the 72 Dolphins were decidedly perfect, their performance in Super Bowl VII was a little less pristine. Miami bullied its way to a 14-0 lead over Washington, but became the only Super Bowl winner in history to get shut out in the second half. A late game miscue made it interesting, but Jake Scott's second interception sealed it. Yes, it was the lowest scoring Super Bowl ever, but Super Bowl 53 was a defensive slugfest. Big plays by both teams made it nearly impossible to get any offense going. Ultimately, it came down to the quarterbacks. Tom Brady made the plays when he had to, while Jared Goff crumbled down the stretch. Blitz to the end zone, and it's intercepted at the three yard line. Gilmore jumps up and grabs it. On a rainy day in Miami, Devin Hester kicked off Super Bowl 41 with a bang. And the Colts have had a hard time all season covering kicks. It's Hester trying to work it back to the middle. Gets past the first wave, and here he goes. It's Hester inside the 30. Hester's going to take it all the way for a touchdown. And no flag, 92 yards. Now would be the time to look away, Bears fans. In a sloppy affair, Indy and Chicago combined for eight turnovers as Chicago was held to just 153 yards over the final three quarters. The Kelvin Hayden pick six put the game away in the final frame. Peyton finally had his Super Bowl. It wasn't a classic, but Super Bowl 39 was a solid game from start to finish. Terrell Owens had nine catches for 122 yards playing on a broken leg. The Eagles were in it late in the game, but their fourth turnover sealed back-to-back -back Lombardis for the Pats. Down the middle of the field, the pass is picked off by Harrison. And the New England Patriots will be the first dynasty of the 21st century. The Packers took home their first Lombardi trophy in 29 years when Mike Holmgren, Brett Favre, and Reggie White toppled the upstart Patriots in Super Bowl 31. 
Green Bay sacked Drew Bledsoe five times and forced four interceptions, but it was a former Heisman winner who sealed the win with an MVP performance. Desmond Howard is off. You better turn it on or he's gone. Desmond Howard all the way into the Patriot end zone. As soon as they get back in it, Green Bay takes it away. Coming off the Freezer Bowl and the catch, the Bengals and 49ers faced off in each of their Super Bowl debuts. A 300-yard day from Ken Anderson wasn't enough, as a crucial goal-line stop highlighted San Francisco's title win. MVP Joe Montana and the 49ers took their first step to becoming the team of the 80s. Super Bowl V is complicated. Sure, the finish was dramatic. The kick is up and hit! But the game was a mess. 11 combined turnovers between the Colts and Cowboys. The highlight of the day was a fluke tipped touchdown to John Mackey. Baltimore had seven giveaways alone and still won the game. This is the only Super Bowl where the MVP came from the losing team. And it is intercepted by Chuck Howley. Dallas linebacker Chuck Howley had two interceptions and a fumble recovery in the Cowboys' 16-13 loss. A strike-shortened season and a 16-team playoff field saw Miami and Washington meet in Super Bowl 17. The Dolphins scored on two big plays early, taking a 17-10 lead into halftime. But Washington's bruising ground game amassed 276 yards, and then on a crucial fourth and one, MVP John Riggins put the game away, producing one of the most iconic runs in Super Bowl history. He's got the first down to the 40, he's gone! The 35, the 30, the 20, he's gone! He's gone! Back to where it all began. It's perhaps the most significant game in NFL history. Super Bowl I wasn't a thriller by any means, but you can't deny the impact it had on American sports and pop culture. Fans in attendance paid an average of six bucks where they watched MVP Bart Starr and the Packers roll past KC 35 to 10. Green Bay's trophy would go on to be named after its legendary coach. Steelers and Cowboys. It felt right that these two historic franchises would square off in the 30th Super Bowl. Dallas was a proven dynasty aiming for a third title in four years. Pittsburgh was looking to get back to its glory years of the 1970s. Bill Cowher's team played the Cowboys tough, but two costly second half interceptions to MVP Larry Brown sank the Steelers' chances. 30, 20, 10, out of bounds at the six yard line from the four. Watkins in motion, handoff Emmett Smith on the right-hand side, touchdown, Emmett Smith scores. Your Cowboys are world champions again. Two storied franchises, two future Hall of Fame quarterbacks, Aaron Rodgers and Ben Roethlisberger dueled at Jerry World in a solid yet unspectacular game. Rodgers was superb, winning MVP with a 300-yard, three-touchdown performance. Rodgers looking left, comes to his right, Jennings, touchdown. The stage was set for a classic finish as Big Ben took the ball with two minutes to go, but the drama fizzled out when the Steelers' drive stalled. The Lombardi Trophy went back to Green Bay. Another matchup of two elite quarterbacks, Drew Brees and Peyton Manning traded shots throughout Super Bowl 44. The tide turned when Sean Payton called for a surprise onside kick coming out of the second half. Brees and the Saints took the lead late, while Tracy Porter put the nail in the coffin. Super Bowl 46 was the sequel to one of history's greatest upsets. Though less thrilling to Act 1, this rematch between the Patriots and Giants was an engaging tug o' war. Trailing 9 0, New England scored 17 unanswered but New York would inch closer before Eli Manning again took center stage. Four-man rush. Eli throwing into traffic on the sideline. They're going to rule it a catch by Manningham. And the Giants have finished off the Patriots in the Super Bowl for the second time in four years. The Har Bowl, the Blackout Bowl. Super Bowl 47 goes by many names. History was made as Jim and John Harbaugh became the only head coaching brothers to meet in an NFL title game. On the field, three first half touchdowns from red hot Joe Flacco put the Ravens up early. Then Baltimore special teams shot the lights out to start the second half, literally. 
Kaepernick wants to throw under pressure, and he's sacked back at the 40 yard line. Why is the clock stop? Somehow, a massive outage of power in New Orleans Superdome. We're going to win this game no matter how long it takes. No matter how long it takes. There's no weapon. Not even a power outage. 34 minutes later, power was restored to the Superdome and the Niners. San Francisco mounted a furious second half comeback before its game winning drive was halted on fourth and goal. A 49ers powerhouse against the new face of the NFL. While it wasn't quite an all time classic, Super Bowl 54 was tense all game long. Tied at halftime, San Francisco churned its way to a 10 point lead entering the final frame. Q the Mahomes magic. Chiefs need some Mahomes magic. Launches down the middle, hill, open, caught. Led by MVP Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs unloaded 21 points in the final seven minutes, securing their first title in 50 years. Super Bowl XIV boasted the highest attendance ever. Pittsburgh's dynasty squared off against the hometown Rams in front of 104,000 fans at the Rose Bowl. They were not disappointed. LA matched the favored Steelers blow for blow until Terry Bradshaw delivered the knockout punch. Firing downfield, there goes Stallworth. He pulls it in at the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5, and it's a touchdown for Pittsburgh on the ball to Stallworth. It was the second repeat title for the Steelers and their fourth Super Bowl win of the decade. The Panthers clashed with the budding Patriots dynasty in perhaps the most underrated Super Bowl ever. A defensive struggle in the first half turned into an avalanche of scoring. From the two, touchdown Antoine Smith. 10 to Sean Foster, Foster breaks through, 30, still on his feet, touchdown. DeLome looking, gonna go deep, has his man wide open, it's Muhammad to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Brady looking to throw it, touchdown. Big blitz, throwing to the end zone, touchdown. This out of nowhere Carolina team would not back down. Panthers and Patriots combined for 37 points in a thrilling fourth quarter. Knotted at 29, John Casey's errant kickoff sailed out of bounds, giving New England prime field position. That's when Tom Brady and Adam Vinatieri struck again. Adam Vinatieri bangs it through. Steelers and Cowboys in Super Bowl X, stars abound, each team looking for its second Lombardi trophy of the decade. This clash at the Orange Bowl will always be remembered for Lynn Swan's acrobatic catches. But don't forget Terry Bradshaw, who delivered maybe the greatest throw in Super Bowl history. Here is Bradshaw, bothered from behind. Lynn Swan is open. Got it. Steeler touchdown. A late rally by Roger Staubach wasn't enough as Pittsburgh won its second straight title. Led by a marquee quarterback matchup, Super Bowl 32 had the storylines. There was Brett Favre in the reigning champion Packers, and there was 37-year-old John Elway looking for his first title in four tries. With the game tied at 17, Elway produced a Super Bowl moment for the ages. Elway. But the real hero was Terrell Davis, who battled severe migraines throughout the game. TD rushed for 157 yards and three scores, earning MVP. Elway finally got his ring, and the Broncos were world champs for the first time. Despite the confidence of Joe Namath, the AFL's Jets were a long shot entering Super Bowl III, but Broadway Joe helped open up an early 16-0 lead, and the Colts never recovered. Earl Morrill was intercepted three times as New York shocked the world. The AFL had arrived, proving itself and ushering in the true start of the Super Bowl era. Trick plays, upsets, and unexpected heroes, Super Bowl 52 had it all. Well, maybe not defense. Backup quarterback Nick Foles outgunned Tom Brady, delivering Philly its first ever Super Bowl with a little something special. To snap it, and it's Trey Burton who throws caught. Foles touchdown. The Eagles and Patriots combined for the most yardage in Super Bowl history, while Brady threw for a record 505 yards in a losing effort. The game was tight going down the stretch until a strip sack sent the Pats packing. In a worthy follow-up to Super Bowl 16, Cincinnati and San Francisco provided even more theatrics in Super Bowl 23. In his final game, 49ers coach Bill Walsh found himself staring defeat in the eyes. 
his team trailed with just three minutes left. Instead, Joe Montana orchestrated the greatest drive in Super Bowl history, aided by Jerry Rice, who tallied a Super Bowl record 215 receiving yards. Montana marched the Niners to glory. Two words, wide right. In another showdown between the league's top offense and defense, Super Bowl 25 was about as tight as it gets. The game was truly a heavyweight fight with sustained drama throughout. Led by defensive coordinator Bill Belichick, New York's game plan was to thwart Jim Kelly and the Buffalo K-Gun offense. They did just that. New York possessed the ball for a record 40 minutes and 33 seconds and clung to a one-point lead as the Bills were down to one final play. He can fire the shot heard round the world now and win a Super Bowl. There's a snap. There's a kick. It is up. It is no good. Four seconds left. The Giants have won Super Bowl 25 by the score of 20 to 19. Call it hyperbole, but the outcome of Super Bowl 36 likely shaped the history of 21st century football. As one dynasty emerged, another failed to get off the runway. The Rams climbed back from an early 17-3 hole, tying the game late before Adam Vinatieri booted New England into the history books. Kick up, kick is on the way, and it is good! It's good! It's good! The underdog Patriots toppled the greatest show on turf as an unknown Tom Brady embarked on a two-decade era of dominance. Quite literally, this was the closest finish in Super Bowl history. An unlikely duel of two resurgent franchises, Super Bowl 34 came down to the final yard. Trailing by 16 to Kurt Warner in the league's top offense, Tennessee stormed back, only to see the 99 MVP work more magic on a 73-yard go-ahead touchdown. With the game on the line, Steve McNair drove the Titans down the field. At the Rams' 10-yard line, there was time for one last play. It is caught by Dyson. Can he get in? No, he cannot. And the Rams have won the Super Bowl. Warner returned to the Super Bowl spotlight with a team of Destiny Cardinals squad. Super Bowl 43 was truly a wild tilt. James Harrison huffed and puffed for a record 100-yard pick six to put the Steelers up 10 at the half. But Larry Fitzgerald propelled the Cardinals ahead with just three minutes left, setting up one of football's most iconic catches. Washington outside left, Roethlisberger. Last time, throws to the back of the end zone. Oh, for a touchdown! The Steelers became the first franchise to earn six Lombardi trophies. Super Bowl 13 was a legend-packed rematch to decide the team of the decade. You want star power? The Steelers and Cowboys boasted a combined 21 future Hall of Famers between coaches and players, and the game lived up to the hype. Terry Bradshaw and Roger Staubach went toe-to-toe -to -toe in a high-scoring affair. Here goes Tony Hill over the day, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Cowboys! Bradshaw hesitates and then throws deep for Stallworth in the end zone, touchdown! Bradshaw won MVP, passing for a then Super Bowl record 318 yards and four touchdowns. Pittsburgh scored 14 points in just 19 seconds to take a commanding lead. Staubach's late rally came up short, clinching back-to-back -back titles and the Steelers' third Lombardi trophy of the decade. Super Bowl 51, where do we begin? A dream for Patriots fans, a nightmare for the Falcons faithful. Atlanta poured it on early. To that point, no team had come back from more than 10 points in a Super Bowl. Down 28 to three, Tom Brady did the unthinkable. Brady, end zone touchdown! Here's Edelman broken up in the pass. Oh, that's a catch. Hand off, touchdown, James White. That's Amendola, this is a tie game. Toss to White. He's in! Patriots win the Super Bowl! So why isn't the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history higher on the list? Yes, the last quarter and a half were absolutely nuts, but does that 2016 Falcons team stand the test of time? Not so much. 
We all love a good David and Goliath story, and there are few better than Super Bowl 42. The undefeated Patriots, looking for their fourth title in seven years, faced the wildcard Giants as heavy favorites. There was an enduring drama from start to finish. In a clean, well-played contest, the G-men pressured Brady throughout. It took a late fourth quarter score to put New England ahead. The next drive, on a crucial third and five, Eli Manning and David Tyree etched their names into history. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet, airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. Manning loves it. Burris alone. Touchdown, New York. In the most improbable fashion, the Giants completed one of football's greatest upsets. There are shocking endings, and then there is Super Bowl 49. To this day, it's still the most viewed television program of all time. The defending champs against a Patriots squad looking for its first title in a decade. Two great coaches, superstars all over the field. The game bounced back and forth all night. Brady and company erased a 10-point deficit, scoring 14 straight in the fourth quarter. But that was just the appetizer. Jermaine Curse secured a truly miraculous catch on the final drive. It was tipped up in the air and Curse on his back at the five yard line. No Super Bowl has ever ended the way this one did. Seattle had the clock, just a few yards to secure back-to-back -back titles. They had one of the best short yardage running backs in history and they had momentum on their side, or so it seemed. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Every once in a while in the NFL, you think you've seen it all? No, you haven't. What a journey. The New England Patriots are the NFL champions.